Spearn Bridge, nine miles north of Fort William, is the largest village in the area. It takes its name from the bridge built over the River Spearn in 1819 by the same Thomas Telford. En route we pass the 1952 monument erected in the memory of commandos who died during the Second World War. We travel east to Roy Bridge, also built by Telford in 1817 and for 149 years carried the road before improvements bypassed it. Inland, a worthwhile detour heads deep into Glen Roy, famous for the parallel roads, a rare geological scar caused by a receding glacier, which was at first thought to be evidence of a lost sea by no less than Darwin, who spent a week here studying the area. However, the Swedish geologist Agassiz later proved his theories wrong. The last interclan battle in Scottish history took place nearby as you enter the Glen in 1654 between the Macdonalds of Keppoch and the Camerons. The chief of the Macdonalds, Alistair, died from his wounds, although his clan won the day. Nearby, the Keppoch murders took place, and the Gaelic poet Ian Lom helped bring the seven murderers to justice. The same Ian Lom led the army of Montrose through the snow and high over the mountains to surprise the Campbell troops at Inverlochy and gain the famous victory at the Battle of Inverlochy. He was later appointed Poet Laureate by King Charles, the first and only Gaelic poet to be so honoured. He's buried in the church of Kielachorl, high on the hill above the road, a short distance past Glenspian Lodge, a 6th century chapel, replaced in the 15th century and restored in the 1930s by the Canadian descendants of the 19th century emigrants of the area. Ian Lom is buried at the door, with a large stone marking his final resting place. A few miles on to Loch Lagan. The popular Sunday evening television series Monarch of the Glen, the original creation of Sir Compton Mackenzie and adapted by Michael Chaplin, is filmed around Loch Lagan. Ardveriki Estate is one of Scotland's most famous deer forests and the Big House, a private and very romantic turreted shooting lodge on the opposite shore of the loch, is Glen Bogle in the series. Queen Victoria spent her first long Highland holiday here in 1843 and wrote of being driven to distraction by the midges. Indeed, Ardveriki was a location in the film Mrs. Brown, which starred Jane Judy Dench as Queen Victoria and Billy Connolly as her Highland servant John Brown. And it was during this filming that Michael Chaplin first visited the house. The loch has the largest freshwater beach in the country and is a major location, as is the village of Lagan as Glen Bogle village. We take the fork off to Dalwini, a little before the village, and pass the Mona Lea Hotel originally a church manse, with the remains of the old church in the grounds. The hotel is named after the Mona Lea or Grey Hills, the upland expanse between Speyside and the Great Glen, featuring no less than four Munroes and interspersed by the Coriaric Pass, which carries General Wade's Road from Lagan to Fort Augustus.